Hey all, this is Richard. Um, it is week 11 after my hair transplants and I wanted to post this quick progress video. First of all, thank you all for watching my video. Um, if you haven't done so yet, please click the subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you don't miss out on any future videos that I post. So, exciting stuff. Um, I think I'm finally seeing some results, which is really good because it's been a long, long time waiting and checking the mirror and everything and nothing popping out, but finally, um, I feel that I'm at the stage where there's stuff growing. Now, the doctor did mention that the hair might shed twice, so fingers crossed that you know, this time it's not gonna grow out and shed again. But if we take a look here, right, there you go, it is quite a noticeable um, growth. So normally, my hairline would go back here like that yeah so for it to be very nicely up until here got loads of little nice my wife calls them baby hairs growing on my head <laughs> uh, so it is good to see that um, I don't see as much growth on here yet um, at one point there was more growth going on here than here so I guess things are just gonna like swap around and one point it's gonna grow there one point it's gonna grow there but it's the overall result that I'm looking for. So I'm quite excited with the fact that there's finally stuff growing and it's not, it does not appear to be shedding at least yet. So happy for now. Um, if I just spin around so you can see the donor area. Yeah, so that is the outline of the donor area that I just pointed out there. That too is looking very, very good. Um, apologies if I, feel a bit, if I sound a bit out of breath. Um, I just did my set of 100 push-ups a day for my 100 push-ups a day 30-day challenge. I'm currently on day 27 and I can't wait to post the video to show you the progress change from day one to day 30 of my 100 push-up challenge. But going back to my, my hair transplant thing, um, everything seems to be finally getting together, um, it did take sort of 11 weeks, so now it's week 11, to start seeing any any changes really. I mean, before, if I pop up some pictures in a minute to show you what, what it looked like before, there was pretty much nothing here and nothing here. So it's really, really nice to see these changes. And I think also a lot of the time when I was shooting my videos, I'm just gonna shift this to the side. It's the lighting as well, because I've got quite, um, it might not look here, but I've got quite light color hair. It's not, I don't have like black or dark brown hair. So um, if I've got direct white light on top of my head, it doesn't look like there's not much there. So if I give you an example now, so this is daylight. If I switch on my lights, yeah. Normally I'll shoot my videos like this, with a bunch of lights on, and as you can see, I can show you all you want. You won't see anything, so um, we switch off the lights. It is a lot more noticeable that there is growth there, which is really, really nice. Um, I'm still sticking to short haircuts. I quite enjoy having a short, head to be, short haircut, to be honest, um, especially for me because I do a lot of training. I do a lot of um, uh, martial arts. So I do karate with my kids. I've recently gone back into start training karate for myself, which is quite nice because I took a bit of a um, break for the last couple of years so it's good to be back sparring with sort of adults and stuff and not just playing with kids although i do enjoy it, sort of training with my kids as well and um, doing children classes with them and stuff it's quite nice i um, also gone back into kendo because my no physical activity period is over um, i trained yesterday with with the men on with a, uh, with a kendo helmet as to say um, Previously, I tried it before um, beginning of December and it was actually still very, very sore, very painful on the head to receive. Um, I tried it yesterday and giving people, I've kind of warned people before they said, just, just go easy. Um, people did go easy and relaxed. It wasn't actually painful, it was okay to receive. Um, I didn't notice any abnormal, any like bad effects after removing the kendama and the helmet. Um, so fingers crossed I can start soon touch wood 
get back into my normal physical routine and do my normal day-to-day -day sort of activities and stuff, which is good because I've really missed doing all that stuff. I think it's one of those things if you are if you are an active person and you're told that you shouldn't do activity, then it's gonna make you feel a little bit useless, a bit depressed and stuff. So not that I don't I wouldn't say I've been feeling depressed and stuff throughout this period, but it's just feeling a bit useless that I can't do the usual stuff and then you know once if you have taken ever, you know, a couple of months gap in physical activity, when you go back to it, especially the cardio stuff, it is so hard to catch up. So these last sort of week or so of getting back into cardio has been really, really hard for me. But I'm feeling good about it. I've actually quite enjoyed pushing myself and making myself physically suffer. It's probably <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, otherwise I'm, I'm still taking all my vitamins, same as always. I haven't changed anything, no changes in diet, no changes in, you know, um, any of the stuff that I use for my um, hair growth. So I'm still using my, the same shampoo, the same hairspray, the, you know, anti-hair loss hairspray. I'm not sure if it makes any difference. It's got no odor, odor whatsoever. It's just like this, you feel like you're spraying your hair with, head with water. Um, it's got some sort of oils in it. I guess it's to keep the scalp, you know, oily and moist so that you can get better growth. Um, still having had to shave. Uh, uh, my wife is starting to complain, to say that my beard's getting too long and I should trim it, but I quite enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna grow this out for another, let's see, for a few more, few more weeks, I would say, but unless I get told off. Um, but that, that is it for now. Um, as I said, if you haven't done so yet, please click, click subscribe and enable bell notifications, and that way you won't miss out on any new videos I post. Um, I hope you found this um, video useful. I hope you found it um, enjoyable to watch or helpful. Um, if you did, please give me a th thumbs up. Um, I will be posting another video in the next couple of days with my 30 push-up challenge and the progress update to that. That's quite exciting as well um, because it's been a hard 30 days for me. I'm sticking to it and um, going from, you know, really struggling to now finding them, finding them quite easy towards the end. So I shall be posting that within the next, um, I'd say four or five days, because day 27 now, sorry, day 28 now, exciting. Um, I've got two days left, and then I've got to just mess around with the video a bit to make it watchable, so you'll have to be bored watching me doing thousands of push-ups. Um, but yeah, that's it. I will see you guys very soon. Bye for now.